No time to waste. Joker!
the best.
Here's a matchup that I haven't seen in seen before. Joke versus Mold. Joke with with the the meat brawler doing a pretty good job here. Here pushing Mold. Ooh, dropped the second hit on the forward air combo. 
Indeed. Oof, and that's a big call out, denying him any chance to use the that Arsene. Set count. I'm up against whoever wins this, so I should be good to commentate it to the end. Yeah, the me. Oh, me brawler has seen all their. I've seen a lot more interest in the last year. years. People have realized the craziness of down throw thrupper confer and other confirms for crazy early stocks, and also that people realize just how insane his, the, his nair is. It's insanely fast, it lingers for a long time, guaranteeing follow ups, and it's absurdly safe. That's an odd request, so I'll have to think about it. At that point, it's practically a money match. But anyways, back to the match. Joke, hey, off to taking the first stock. Fair enough. Ooh, that's gonna be a punish. Bit of a. Could he have gotten a better punish off that? If an up smash probably would have been the stock. <laughs> I guess that's fair. Yeah, maybe talk to me about it on Discord. I need to focus on the tournament. And. 185, that is a nutty percent to be living to, though that's kind of joker for you. Not the great, without Arsene, it is a struggle to finish out the, the stock. Nothing to apologize for. Ooh, and there's a good punish. Very... 66% Joke doing the smart thing and waiting out the Arsene to try and minimize how how much more he can get get out of it. Is this thing on? Yes it is. One one Oof! And there's a very good call out with the and taking the second stock and now has a full stock lead. Oh, this is looking very bad for Joke. Well, this, no, this is looking very bad for Mold here. On the last Arsene, but it's how it's going. I'll be surprised if he gets much out of it. Uh, uh, got his back against the wall, so I understand the attempt at the forward smash. That just hasn't been falling into the right position. And, oh, Last our stand of this match, like, game and probably match, and nothing to show for it. It is going to be an in it is going to be a Mount Everest climb to get to take the match at this point. And by the way, do not climb Mount Everest unless you're a serious mountain climber. And Joe K once again finding that ne neutral be be right to take the game and match and with it mold is out of the tournament i will like that means i'll be facing joe k next but i don't know if they'll be wanting us to play that on stream or not 
Thank you. Okay, stream it is, so I'll set that up. Obviously not commentating my own match.
I was gonna say you were relying way too much yeah, on the on the high risk, high reward yeah. options, but then you but changed it up enough really to destroy me. Yeah, early on I was down. I used way too much smash attacks. I needed four. <laughs> so, well, so congratulations, and I'm out of the tournament. So, hope you like me, folks, because you're stuck with me for the rest of the night. I'm gonna drink like a lot of. And then everyone was oh. like, oh, well, I guess that means I'm going to do it. And so everyone gets a very cool decision. And I uh, didn't sleep a lot, so. <laughs> <laughs> I can't sleep drunk either. Mm -hmm. You just crash. You just crash eventually, and you can't help it. Some people, like, if I put the sleep by alcohol, I'm going to have What's up, baby? I was just going to tell you. I was mm -hmm. looking at Tyler Mantel. Looks like we have a match we can throw on stream. Uh, let's get... Oh, and we've got our first top eight match on stream, Oa versus Ant. Uh, I grant, I mean, pretty much, ev uh, I'm pretty sure Oa has a winning record on every player who comes here. In fact, well, you, I was going to get to that. You're like one of the few people who had, who've scored a win uh, over him in the, in the last year. So, it, so if it, you're definitely on the so yeah, Ant is definitely on the list of players who could upset Oa. But we'll see if he can get it tonight, though. We also have Death Arcana, who hasn't in wrote, who's been here for the first time in months, and he's probably got the skills to challenge Oa. Yeah, I farm out. I've never actually dropped a stock. That's actually so true. Especially these things are so good. 
KJ says, KJ Smash, wonder who that could be, says, go Ant. Okay, we've got some unusual picks from both players. Ant pulling out the Enderman and Oa the Ridley. So, Battle of the Secondaries for this one. Thank you guys for making this very easy on, on setting up. <laughs> oh, never mind, because... Because Steve, you have to oppose Steve even if he, the player playing him is the underdog. <coughs> I see how it is. So far, doing a number on Oa's Ridley. <laughs> that was a combo and a half. The Rizzler. <laughs> the grab too slow to punish Ridley's smash attacks. It's a very even game right now. Oh, uh, that. Okay, good tech. There's a minecart. Not quite enough to take the stock at that percent. Ooh, that's gonna be trouble. <laughs> Going for the kindling and not and not just dropping an anvil on his head. Hmm. Guess the anvil might not have been guaranteed with the tech. But, or wouldn't it be that? But, yep, that's the stock. Side B at ledge. Ridley side B at ledge. You're not living at that percent. Odd to see. Okay, what was that anvil? Yeah, just using the situation to mine a bunch of materials. Ooh, great. Lead time to Nair to stuff it out. Back air with the diamond. That will do. Take the stock. Great read. That's... that's a, and the hardest of reads with a forward smash on... Against the minecart. That w it was wild. That Ridley looking mighty hungry with that back-to-back -back dash attack. Here we go. Steve combos 70%. This is... That is criminal. Okay, just needs one more, two more good reads. And... <laughs> I don't know, but it's doing a number on Noah's Ridley for the moment. Brought, has brought it back. Oof! And another hard forward smash read taking game one. Felt like Ant was in a pretty good spot at first, but then just slow. Ant Oa started getting the download on him and took it from there. Ant's definitely going to have to be a lot more careful for those forward smashes. Cause... Yeah, it's not the first time I've seen. I'm pretty sure it's not the first time I've seen him pull out Steve. Ooh, went up, went up a bit too high with the up B, making leaving him very vulnerable. Ooh, that respect the shenanigans around it, but still getting caught by the forward smash and Oa doing a great job at edge guarding the his Steve and the taunt to start. 
already with a full stock lead it feels uh, the Steve the, the Enderman is not working here and it's okay doesn't get pineappled under the stage that would have been really sad but getting the Nair into dash attack he's it's gonna take a lot for Ant to get back in this game and just another taunt oh a showing just with the disrespect and now a, t a two stock lead it is going to be a it's going to be a miracle if Ant wins from here Starting to build up damage to... Is this the makings of a comeback? Has the diamond weapons. Ooh, and there's the... There's the first stock, at least. If he can get this, the classic Steve combo to start this next stock, maybe it can... Nope. Falls... Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. That's pr practically the exact situation that that led to the game and last time. So, a bit embarrassing to be falling for it twice. Yeah, no, not much to add about that. Starting out stronger. Okay, there. Okay, now I understand why he didn't do the anvil last stock. It just doesn't seem that reliable. I was doing a decent job just poking through the blocks, not letting him build the a wall against him. Oh, 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 dang, that was the hardest of reads. Just the charge up smash and getting the perfect timing to punish that minecart. That, that's our Oa. Just takes a bite out of Ant and catches him with the Nair. Timing it so that it gets delayed by the minecart. Ooh, there... Almost taking the stock, but eats a forward smash punish instead. Just barely misspaced it for the roll. Sometimes it the difference between a one punish and another is the is pixels. Hmm, interesting use the way to use it at the minecart as a bait, but <laughs> oh, I'm not afraid to just chomp and it. Huh, getting a lot of good reads against Oa here might be able to pull the comeback if you can just get another to take the stock to, uh, start. Ooh, nice up tilt into back air confirmed. Not quite enough to finish it out. Hmm, yep, he is gonna eat. Ooh, the platform saving him from a bigger combo. Ooh, just barely not able to survive that. It's always weird when they just barely fail, fail to survive. Yeah, this could be the ga uh, game for Ant to take. Here we go. It's taking him to 70 and really trying to go for some aggressive edge guarding. Does not pay off. Gets hit by the up B on the way back to stage. Uh, 
Oof. Get in the... Uh, another game lost to the forward smash. <sighs> Ant just... Ant was just not respecting that forward smash well enough, and that, and it cost him dearly in, in that last game. Came close, but no cigar. And with that, we'll likely be having Kofu and Taminus on stream next. must be playing melee that that would explain it do we throw and there's no other matches to be played right now because we're waiting on Trey versus death arcana surprised to see death arcana going to losers but hmm okay Ko it was kofu that make that makes sense Well, uh, I think we're going to be waiting a bit as we wait for Tamnus to finish his melee match. So, in the, for the time being...
So let's get this show on the road. Kofu versus Taminus. Hmm, start. Kofu's coming out swinging to start. Getting all the right reads. Almost finishes him off, but the Arsene coming in clutch, letting him get back to stage. There, that would have been no recovering as regular Joker. <laughs> and closing it out with the Nair. Just what more needs to be said about it. Uh, that was a bit of an, a missed punish opportunity, but also... Still found a way to punish the roll. Wow! Just going for the for the forward smash at like the zero percent just for the damage. That is an audacious move if I've ever seen one. Smart? I'm not sure about that, but that is definitely smart. Get it? Going for the for that and taking the stock. Neutral B if I recall correctly. Taminus now on the his left. Oh, Kung Fu having no mercy. Taking first game with a three stuck. Just That's one way to make a statement. Yeah, that's it's always demoralizing to be on a smackdown that extreme. It damn it started off okay and it just Kofu kept on finding all the right reads to to devastate him. Starting out, ooh, that was a, a good our good Re Rebels guard. Now with the Arsene, how much is he gonna get out of it though? Because Kofu, who handled it fine in the last. Oh, that was an interesting gun attempt after the gun. Getting the back air, but not able to. Quite close it out, and now with our at our send, it, as you know, it's suddenly a lot more difficult to close out stocks. Just barely facing around that fire kick, and Kofu just going for a run up, up smash like it. Well, it's pretty similar to Fox if you get down to it, so I guess that it is pretty. It's a logical move to do. Nice punish on the high down B. Another good, good punish. Just now has the R set. Oh no, that's gonna hurt. Not gonna quite finish out the stock. But definitely taking a big chunk out of that R send to start. Ooh, and there it goes again. The not able to finish out the stock. Yeah, and Kofu is just... Oh dear, this is looking dangerously similar to the last game. Thank you. I'll be surprised if he pulls another three stock, though it's not out of the question. Yep, gonna put him off stage. 
Gonna throw him back off. Trying to go for the... Okay, it does get, eat the back air punish for that, but when you have this much of a lead, you can afford to take those kinds of risks. And that's it. Again, Kofu off to a strong start for this game. Get really want. Oh dear! Doesn't get the second hit of the forward air. What was the, What's up with that? Okay, Knight gets a nice combo, both of up air into up air. Uh, just ledge trapping. It, it the Arsene very well. Good at air dodge, respecting the Arsene, because back air definitely would have been done it, and good spot dodge against the forward smash. Good. A great call out from Kofu to take the first stop. Go, damn, that's getting a bit forward smash hungry and backfired. There's a nice dash attack punish. Gets the back, back air punish on the first stock, so much better place to start it. And Kofu just going back in, running to continue the fight. Gets out of the grab. Was looking for a roll read there. Deminus not giving him it to him. Good use of the side B. Uh, but yeah, Kofu gets the four up smash punish on well, on the landing to for the second stock. Okay, interesting. Mm. Probably could have gotten a better punish on that down B. Cause that is very unsafe on landing. Ouch. Well, he has another Arsene. Just he really needs he wants to make it count if he wants to take this game and stay in it. Nope, not able to close out this second stock. Ooh, just barely missing the on the back air for the second stock. And that's the game. <sighs> He did progressively better in each game, just wasn't able to adapt fast enough to take to s establish his place in in the match and potentially take it. <laughs> and with that, our winners' finals looks to be Ella versus Kofu. In other news, Joe K get got three O swept by Dark Sun. And we're still Oh, we still have yet to play Darth Arcana versus have Death Arcana versus Meeks go.
the skill set. Yeah, winner's finals is up for ultimate. Oh, what? Uh, Kofu? Oh, I'm not messing around here, going straight for the K rule. Rule. Starting out strong. Gonna throw him back off stage. I'm deciding to respect the recovery. I guess it is a bit of just he doesn't really have the recovery to safely challenge it. Ooh, and oh, finding the down tilt to steal the lead right out from under Kofu. And suddenly this matchup has match has seen a complete turnaround. This Gofu had a really strong lead, but with that one read, it seems like momentum has firmly slipped out of his grasp. It's oh and now has a two-stock lead. Really that a good interesting mix-up. Well, I have no words. That was one of the most dis That was... Yeah, I'm spe kind of speechless. That was crushing.
Yeah, looking better this game. Well, Kofu was looking really good last game until he got that down tilt into forward smash for the first... Daloa got that down tilt into forward smash for the first stock, and then it was all downhill from there. Actually, no, it wasn't just downhill. That was rip. That was where you... You went off Corbett's Kolar, and you, you just speeded down all the way to 10 sleep. And why am I going with ski metaphors here? Oh, right, because I'm a skier. <laughs> but, yeah, just going 90 miles in, an hour and to his doom. It's... Well, hopefully... To... Well, fortunately, Kofu is not getting going to get destroyed that badly this time. He's keeping it... Keep in his lead this time. Yeah, he's in a prime position to take this game. The no safe is ever lead is ever safe for Moa. Tried <laughs> almost getting the back air to really steal it, but yeah. That is absolutely going to take it at that percent. Hmm, interesting. He tried to go for the down tilt again. And there's the Oa Classic, the sudden down smash, and it beats out the... It, the armor beats out his, his aerial and takes the stock with it. This is this. It's, it's either player's game, folks. Kofu has the lead, but it won't last for very long at this rate. Oh, uh, oh, his armor is looking dangerously low. I, I, I don't, I don't. And there, oh, a taken game two. It's definitely a, definitely a sign of a really good player to not let those kinds of devastating losses get get them to them. As Kofu went from that to almost taking game two, just wasn't quite able to close it out in time. See if he can take a, a, this next game, or if this will be a 3-0. Trying to go for some cheese against Oa. Okay, good. Good playing around the down B and great. Just going for the dash attack punish. Uh, though I guess K roll doesn't really have any really good punishes for it, for it in that situation. So. Actually, he might have been able to get a forward smash at that distance. And there's a good hard punish from Kofu for the first stock. Not gonna get the sweet spot on the down tilt, but dash attack almost did doing the trick, just not quite. Uh, doing the another fire kick and not able to recover after it. Get a bit of a, a sub-optimal choice there, but mistakes will be made if even... Really interesting. Crossed up Oa and he was not ready for that. Does manage to get back to ledge there. I was genuinely worried he was going to miss. Uh, jumps right into the crown. Using the down B to reset to neutral. Hmm. Great ledge trapping from Kofu here. Uh, got the down air, but it wound up being a, a stock trade, which I guess it's better than nothing, especially since... Remember, K, K. Rule is the heavier of the two, so being able to take the stock early is definitely... It's not nothing. 
the same time, you generally want to build the lead and do... Oh, oh, a finding the back air read uh, against Kofu for the third game. Well, to the surprise of very few, Oa will be advancing onto winners, onto grand finals on winner's side. We've got, I think all the other matches that are left to be played are currently being played, so we're going to be waiting a bit to get our next match on stream, which will most likely, which, no, it, all, it will be whoever wins bet between Death Arcana and Meeks versus Ant. Till then.
and we will be we are returning uh, though oh. not sure when we'll be getting it started but we are but uh, Meeks versus Death Arcana finished. It seems like Death Arcana came out on top. For <laughs> the Tan Man can too, huh? Hmm. Interesting. So. Thir yep, Death Arcana and Ant up next on stream. The. Been a while since we've seen Death Arcana around here. For fortunately, we'll get to see him on stream. We'll see. Game five, a battle between zoners. It. I don't think it needs much more explanation than. Too much more explanation than that, huh? Oh. Holy crap. It's Ant versus Death of on the stream. So is Ant gonna stick with oh, really? the Steve? Oh, yeah. It looks oh, like it. Uh, not too surprising. Heard something about dubs, but no, that's it. Okay, button check on deck. So, so anything you see is. Uh, What's a joke I can make here? Well, this block of co content is really block with... Really block, that's the best pun I can come up with for Steve. <laughs> Technically it is actual gameplay footage, but it's not an actual m game. <laughs> Cor correct. Well, once there looks like we're ready to get started. <laughs> I mean, eh? 
MTK was like did a Giga Chad moment where he realized he was lo gonna lose that game to HBox and just took the rest of that game to practice his his execution and then took that the rest of that match. So <laughs> it can work out. So it's a rare case of productive giving up. Oh, now we are off to the races. I, they two have definitely played before, but do, does Death Arcana have what it takes to take on the 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 Aunt Steve? Oh yeah, of course. Uh, why did anyone pick up Steve? Either they, either they tier picked or they're huge Minecraft fans. Given how many rose out of nowhere and were previously unheard of in the scene, I think it's mostly the former. But right now. Death Arcana doesn't seem too scared of Ant. Already has taken the first stock of this game. Good to know. <laughs> hmm. I mean, if he can make him work, there's definitely a lot of potential in the Steve. As long as he doesn't get banned for a Utah entirely, which doesn't seem likely at this point. Willy, the bomb saved him from the lava. Uh, physics? We need to talk! <laughs> Fair enough. It me off to the side. We have Oa getting it slightly egotistical. <laughs> My throat. I was even thinking of Smash, but it is pretty funny. <laughs> oh, there's a nice edge guard. That's gonna put not able to get back. Okay, we've suddenly got ourselves a re. A real game again. It's, could go either way, folks. <laughs> Why are you watching that? <laughs> because Jake oh boy, here. Oh, uh, drops the combo. <laughs> I guess it is. It's a lot easier to drop it against a character as small as Toon Link. Uh, but Death Arcana always on point with the bomb combos. <laughs> Mm, there's a nice forward air, gonna put Ant in a dangerous spot. Not able to get in in time, but just going for the up smash right as he lands. And good avoidance of the bomb. It's still a close game. It, oh no, uh, you never want to see the diamond weapons. Oh, just barely missing the confirm into up air to close out the game. Gets another bomb. Uh, drops an anvil on his head. That's gonna hurt. And there we go. The bomb into forward air for game one. Don't weigh that much. We weigh like 10 pounds. Yep. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I'm actually glued to him. I'm gonna put away. Oh, you're glued to him? Yeah. That's awesome. I can't wait for us to go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Ooh, interesting. So we're going to the FD. Interesting choice from Ant, I guess, since he's the be has the has better ability to control space. It gives the less places to run away. It's also a zoner's generally a zoner's favorites. Could backfire. Hmm, there's a nice forward smash. Nothing too special. Ooh, nice. Turning the bomb into down air. That's a confirm you don't see too often. Because he was hoping that it would be close enough to the side of the stage to just guarantee the stock. Back throw, not quite enough at that percent. Ooh, gets the hit by the bomb and finally gets the reset to neutral. Missing a... Any chance of keeping pressure up with from that up tilt? <laughs> Mac Air not gonna do the trick. Not a great kill move. Forward air would have done it, but miss. Oh, yeah. Ooh, and there's a, the up air just getting the last second hit. That's the plus side of having a lingering hitbox like that. You can just it just lingers and then. Boom, you're dead. Looks like Death Arcana is building up momentum this game and not letting Ant get much started. Does get the back air on the get up jumps for the first stop. I have a favorite Kingu and he's a terrible. Granted, it st is still Steve, so if you can get the right combo started, the it, that percentage gap could close real quick. Oh no, missing up for up in. I understand, because he got him in a really bad spot with that. Just got a bit greedy and it came back to bite him. That's probably going to cost him this game, but we'll see, folks. Oof. Death Arcana's definitely got the momentum on his side here. Hmm, interesting. Going for the weapon build instead of the punish. Also, no notice how he hasn't really been able to build any really great weapons this game. That... RNG seemingly not working out in his favor here. That's a bad trade. Gonna put him off stage. Gets the gold. That's the one of the better ones. Will he get the chance to craft it? I'm skeptical. Does. And uh, not quite the stock, but close. Mm, not really. Uh, going for the greedy punish and did was too slow to work. Yeah. Oh, eats the does eat the forward smash punish for that one. Ant has a very tall hill to climb to take this game, so, and not going to get the chance as Death Arcana finds the up smash read for game two. It actually does. That's slightly concerning. Someone Yeah, it feels like a campfire. This one. Ant finally going to the character we all know him for, the hero, it, which we'll see if that that can bring him back into this match or not.
So far, not. It hasn't found a hit, and dang, that was some good spacing. <laughs> it's possible. The commentator's curse is real, folks. If only I could come and take curse the. The, my opponents, uh, but I think that, that would be an abuse of power, and I, and would get me sent to commentator jail. Yes, that's a real thing. Don't fact check me. Zoom. What? Okay, that kind of deserved that one. Because. Zoom, it, it's not that. It actually does have a, some legitimate use on on stage. The biggest re thing thing they, that heroes generally like to use it for is to stall out the startup invincibility of the opponent. Answering back with a quick stock and getting some. See, like that. That is a much more, more legitimate use of zoom on stage, just because the opponent won't be able really get much opportunity to, to utilize the invincibility. Okay. What's you think that, that heroes don't know this? <laughs> Back to the Oh no! Oh, that was uh, an unfortunate one. That should have been his chance to really to. <laughs> Death Arcana SDing right it back in response. Either a, that was either a stealth, a, a stealth. Oh, uh, what's the term? It's embar. I'm feeling ashamed that I don't remember what it's called. Homie stock, or that was just a uh, back to yeah. Still, very funny chain of events, and with it, suddenly Ants got got a second lease on this game. Just resting a little bit, a little more energy. If I get too tired, I just leave. Uh, I, I Ooh, and that's going to do it. And, and with a game on the board. Let's go non-throwing ant. Grant, Let's go. Granted, the, that get, he only was able to win that game, pro, well, or maybe not only, but the biggest thing that allowed him to win that game was Death Arcana's SD after he did SD'd, so... That's a bit of a lucky break. But it's a game's a game, and sudden maybe he can pull the reverse 3 0 with that with his signature hero. Going to battlefield for the next one. Likely wanting the the opportunity to create a lot more more item combos from the Extra platforms. Ooh, interesting choice option for from that down air punish. Ooh, good choice. It's gonna turn the situation around and. Sent the wrong way, unfortunately, for Ant. Di what do you have to hide? So much. Oh, just barely so missing the confirm into. And that's going to be the stock. Probably didn't need to charge that, but okay. I guess it's. Uh, I guess stall. <laughs> yes, of course. Clock running down the timer is a legitimate like strategy, so. <laughs> Fair enough. Ooh, that. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why he stalled that. Because he was looking for the damage, but. That was just. A, the risk reward ratio seems rather off to go for the fully charged one there.
Uh, just and there's the forward smash to close out this second stock. Oh, uh, through the kaboom the wrong way. <laughs> Good patience from Ant not falling to Death Arcana's. Uh, okay, fell for that one and got not nice punish. Oh dear, that was quite the combo. And that is the game. And match. Yeah, going for our is something goofy like a fully charged side beat. Just in that situation when it when he has bomb into forward air, just. <laughs> that that seems what to you have been the if there was a moment that game hinged on in that's the end that game. seems to have been it it's one thing to go for things like that when you have such an astronomic lead that you're that you can safely throw away stocks for free damage or or a potential game ender but when you're so close wait what did you say? What? Never mind. Oh, it was okay it. over me. It was. <laughs> I had a phone background. Like you, it, it saves them for you on iPhone. Um, okay. <laughs> and, I think. and one of them was like DK and Kratos, and the other was. Like, I think it. Uh, that. You didn't hear my rants about edgelords, dang it! I am an embarrassment. To huh. I am a f failure of co a commentator. Fi okay, but that's enough whining about how you missed my totally important jokes.
six minute game. We're both at 100 percent last off here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh, there. That's gonna be the stock. That is the power of the rage, of the rage drive. Just a very, very potent and capable of taking stocks early. Playing it slow and cautiously. Oh, and Dark Sun with the spot dodge for I mean, like the first stop. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Like you didn't MD or anything. It just seemed like one, almost one that game. No. Like actually, like learned the mix ups. Smoke me. Okay. I'm not really sure with the characters. I'm not really sure how to approach that. Oh boy, that's. Ah, uh, does not get the up smash. Probably wasn't going to be the stock if he, even if it had hit, but that would have been another 20% easy. Oh, that was a great read on the roll. Doesn't. It's like minus 4 on shield rising. Yeah, it's. Ooh, then that's the risky run to get challenging Kazuya's recovery is that he has a, some really potent meteor. Has a really potent meteor smash to turn to turn the edge guard verse verse edge guard you with ease. Ooh, there's a good four there. With that, that is the well. It's not over yet. How long? Good, good cross-up mix-up from Death Arcana. Great use of the upbeat. Gonna put Dark Sun in a bad spot. Almost taking the stock with that grab, but not enough. Not quite able to get the upbeat on Death Arcana for the stock. Just yeah, Death Arcana. That is going to do it. Not a question. 63%. Definitely a def daunting deficit. We'll see if Dark Sun can get a big combo, but I don't think he has the execution to do, do like the ze the electric wind zero to death. So it's not going to be an easy win here. He does have the rage drive, which if he can get that to hit. That could make a big difference. Ouch. And there the rage drive goes from that bomb. And that is going to be game one. Anyways, I was... Well... One thing I noted before I... I turned back on the mic is that... It seems so weird that the Edgelord tags don't use Edgelord alts. I mean, I guess that Kazuya is kind of an edge lord by default, so I guess that makes up for it. But Death Arcana is still there's still definitely a dissonance there. It is evil. Uh, what? I don't know what Dark Sun was. Did he throw the bomb on himself, or did it just explode on him? Yeah, you have. I always have to be aware of that laser from Kazia because it can mess with your ability to with your attempts to ledge trap. And there we go. That's going to be the stock. That's how the first game went. Yeah. So it's not an indicator of anything by itself, though. It's a bit odd that Death Arcana got hit by it again so soon. Not able to get the electric follow-up on that down throw. That's going to hurt. Not going to take the stock. Just going for the simple tilt punish. Ouch. Got, got to put him off stage. Not... Still... Ooh, not ready for the roll behind. 
Good spacing around the dash attack from Death Arcana. That. Okay, I was going to say that was an unconventional but smart one, but it looks like he forgot about the bomb. Not that it matters, because he got that up B with stock to without taking any more damage. This is definitely Dark Sun's game to lose at this point. But it could happen. There's a start. An interesting use of the sideways move from the hit. Ooh, nice jab lock and a put death dark sun in a bad spot. Not quite able to get the forward air to close out the gate, the stock. Mm, and that's a scary thing to see. I mean, every trade here is to Dark Sun's benefit because it just puts him that much, makes it that much easier to close out the game. Death Arcana's bringing it back. Can he pull the full comeback though? That's the question. Oh dear, that's gonna put. Oh, never mind. Gets the the laser to reset to neutral. That is not quite. Just barely surviving from some excellent directional influence. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Almost taking the stock with it. Uh, once again, missing the forward air in, off of the bomb, and what a comeback! <laughs> Tharkana taking game two now on match point. I have come for your soul. First three stock indeed. I'll be very surprised if Dark Sun pulls the reverse 3-0. We'll, we'll see. I just say that because generally demoralizing reverse 3 stocks are not a great foundation to win a win a set. <laughs> well, I'll let them know later for for now. Dark Sun's coming out swinging this game. Oh, that was a great attempt at a punish. Just did not correct. Let me guess the direction. Death or Connor's just been missing a lot of those bombs into forward airs. Like, I have. He's gone for it like five times, and, and not one of them has actually connected. There we go. Finally getting the connection. Oh, great parry and punish. Uh, this. Yep, looks like. Like, right now it looks like a. Okay, that was a clever. That was a very clever laser stall from Dark Sun. Then a great forward smash read. Taking the stock. Keeping the game within. Mm, nope. <laughs> Maybe not. Well, it's not over yet, but that was definitely a devastating forward smash read, denying him any chance to get the rage drive off. Just trying to weave around the projectiles. 
Oh, that's a lot of shield damage. Really interesting use of the up air, beating out the down air ledge trap. And making Dark Sun pay for that overextension. Death Arcana taking it 3 0. Did you say it's a little loud? No, no. Sorry. Well, now I believe it's Kofu's turn. This is a run back from Winner's side. Looks like Kofu who was ready to hear it. Also, Death Ar right, so well, for Death Arcana, the Tan Man Can 2 thinks you're so cool. Uh, I'll explain later. The Tan Man Can, can 2. That would make sense. Uh, he's Vegas, I think. He was pretty good. I kind of threw against him. Yep. Okay, fair enough. On to the match. Okay. It's a bit of an interesting one because that they're kind of playing the heavy zoner while. Well, while... Oh, I didn't update. My bad. Kofu playing the ever-aggressive Brawler. Also notably doesn't... I mean, Brawler does have the option of the bowling ball for zoning, but Kofu not opting for that one. It's... He has a rather unconventional... That one's definitely the least conventional out of his arsenal. Opting for the for that over the more infamous Thrupper. Ooh, nice down smash for the for the first stock. Yeah, that's just the power of the of the me brawler Nair. Indeed, it's it's a legitimate strategy. There's a legitimate strategy there. So, I think that it generally the thrupper is more optimal, be prefer or preferred because it's more, a lot more guaranteed combos off of it, even at past the infamous cheese. But still, to each their own, and if you can make it work, then that's all that matters. What a confirm! That is. That's the plus of that per neutral special. Uh, he's gonna eat the punish on that that fire kick. Uh, missing the the forward smash on that jab lock. There's the down air to close out the, the first game. Yeah, and you're 
Game two, start. The Tharkana getting a down air early, but was it worth it? I'm stressing out, man. Uh, no the Tharkana committed to the boomerang and with yes. it missed the chance for a punish on the fire kick. Oof! Almost taking the stock with that forward smash read. Using the down B to get back to safety, it's. Yep, it's an interesting down down B. It's obviously not nearly as good as oh Zero Suit Samus's flip that. kick, which is it's, a, so all, it's obvious inspiration. Oh. But it has a bigger arc, yes. and there's a lot more time to delay the hit. So it's an interesting move, and it, there's a reason you see pretty, see a lot of me brawlers going for it. That's a bit tense here. Who's going to take the first stock of this game? That's it. And that answers that question. Up smash not quite enough. F tilt. Uh, okay, he does manage to get back. That was... I thought he'd gone too low. It wouldn't be the first time that Kofu did that. But this time, he just barely made it back. But... Forward smash, not a question at that percent. Spamming the up air and getting the nair on the up B. What is oh, it? Oh, just barely missing the down smash. It's, uh, it's Ooh, there's a knife. One of his yeah. Debacana signature bomb confirms. But run up up smash works. Not every time, but it's all, always a threat. Yeah, I, I, I can tell. Um, I'm glad that... I'm glad that you uh, just popped off. Mm, there's a good call out from Death or kind of giving him a fighting chance in this game. I should have done I should have. Can he make the most of it? Oh, that was a great punish on the fire kick. Ouch, that's gonna hurt. I'm good. Thanks for the offer, though, man. You don't want him to Yeah, There's a. Ooh, a nice punish on the. On the down B. It's either player's yeah, game yeah. here. Yeah, so I can the bomb really interrupting the second one. Going for the up air there. Probably the smart move. I don't think forward air would have killed. Yeah, I agree. It's a tense one here, folks. It all comes down to who finds the finishing blow. Oh no! Went for the up air instead of the. But back throw does the trick. Death Arcana taking game two. Um, yep. oh, okay. Wait, where did Jason go? Hmm, interesting. Going to the 
to Northern Cave. My guess is that Kofu is probably looking for, well, maybe it's the mix-up potential of, and not having anywhere to run away from, from his shenanigans. Kind of like Fox, but with a significantly weaker dash attack mix-up game. I wonder what Kofu was looking for there. Maybe he realized that he just wasn't going to get anything except uh, punish, uh, punish for the going for the down B, so he wisely just decided not to. That thing is not... That kick is not safe. Like, not even remotely safe. Oh no, does not get back to stage. That, that could be a costly oh, SD oh, from Kofu yeah, there. Yeah, I never talked to you about this, but, um, Fernando was like, is this <laughs> about me? And then well, it. that kick took the stock. Yeah, there's there's the risk of going for it. It's a very free punish if they're ready. <laughs> That's shield mode for you. Ooh, that almost did the finished him off. Ooh, there, that, that was a really good read from Goku. Wanted the forward smash read, and there was a, another attempt at a read, and that, not, also not finding its mark. I think he was trying to punish it with the forward smash, but did not quite time it right. The hot dogs were going crazy. I must not deny it. Went too far across the stage for Deathlocon to be ready to punish it. Back throw. Oh, just not quite enough. Gonna put him off stage. Trying to finish him out with a forward air back edge guard. And that is the game. Oh, like like Fufu on match point here. Ooh. I was canceling your like, secret leader tag. I like, like tense my jaw when I'm wearing them. You tense your jaw. Uh, Sometimes when I yawn, I'll like dislodge the sound and it hurts really bad. You can go back to. Uh, why were you hiding from the camera, Jason? <laughs> you had something to hide? You hiding something from me? <laughs> oh, so she just got something to do with this? Oh, interesting, the up air into grab. I don't think I've seen that combo before. <laughs> interesting that he didn't opt for a second back air and instead try to go for some reads. Going for the safe distance for gra on punishing the forward smash, not wanting to run right into it because that thing is terrifyingly strong. There's a good upbeat. Not gonna quite take the stock. Real. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, and the right here. Kofu with the down air call out for the first stock. Up he's still not enough. That's cap. So now I have a right? That was a good F tilt. And Death Arcana getting the roll read for the first stock. Yeah, it's just it can be very tricky to find those openings against a character with as many with a move yeah. as safe as the new yeah. brawler there. When Death Arcana finds those projectile hits, he finds them. Oh, what was that? I, I mean, I'm pretty sure Kofi could. Oh, I think he may, maybe realized he already used his jump in that due to that miscalculation problem. Realized he was do had doomed his ability to recover. Or he w went for the hard read anyways in spite of that knowledge and was really banking on it landing and when it missed that was... He just accepted his fate. Uh, something for the for the rewatch, I guess. So they're kind of in a pretty good position to win here, but it's certainly not over. Folks. Oh, I thought that he did it that way instead of behind him. Go for doing a good job suffocating Death Arcana here. Not letting him get anything started. Oh, that might be it. Yes, it is. Kofu taking it 3 1. And. And Kofu offering some advice to Death Arcana. Sign always the sign of a good sport. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, after after three episodes, the Death Arcana show has been brought to an end, and we will be having Kofu versus Oa uh, for grand finals. When they faced off on the winner's side, it was a 3-0. Starting off with a three-stock stomp. See how it goes this time. I'll be surprised if that it's another 3-0. So I'm not expecting this to be to. Well, I'm not expecting us to see a reset tonight. I'll just say that. Kofu's starting out strong, 39% and all only to his before taking the first stock against Oa. Really trying to mix up his, but Oa following him all the way to the black up to take the first stock with the double up air. It's just, that was how he finished, that was how he finished the three stock last, there in their last one, so. All reminding Kofu that he's not afraid to go for it. Um, 
It's also the exact kind of momentum shift that Owen needed to take the lead. We'll see if he can keep it. Ouch! That was a really good, good two frame from Oa, and it ends in Kofu's demise. Yeah, that's the terrifying power of a of a correct read on a two frame. It just puts the opponent in an incredibly bad situation that it's they're hard pressed to come back from, and it looks like Oa's gonna ride that momentum to. Taking the first game of this. Okay, I thought I thought he might have gotten the meteor smash to to take that, but I guess it wasn't quite strong enough. And K rules recovery is no joke. And just going for the up tilt on the get up to take the first game. Oa is the mass. Well, Oa, you have to wonder if he's part crocodile, because he is really good at smelling blood in the water. Just finding those crazy reeds to just snuff out a stock when you least expect it. That is Oa's way. And it's why he's such a terrifying force around here. You give him the chance and he will find that stock. <laughs> oh, doesn't get the full power up smash that time, just getting the sour spot. Kofu, I think Kofu decided to not mash to stall out the escape, which was definitely the right call. And wow, gets the forward smash read again, but not in a nearly as good of a position as the last game when he took the first stock with that. Building up a big lead. And another forward smash. Oh, going for the forward air to punish that down B. Some, when you have moves that unsafe, even on hit, they, it can backfire. It's Kofu's game to lose here, but it also always oh, no stranger to taking games back from a two-stock deficit, so he's going to have to be careful. Once again, going for the delayed ma escape to not give Oa the easy stock. Ouch, that's going to send him across the stage. Not... Uh, that was a particularly odd down B. Eh, and there we go. Kofu taking the game. I wonder if we'll see that okay, trick again, if that's a... Well... Well, the part of the problem is that when you show your hand, or your bat, or some of your biggest tricks like that, it's going to be on the on the mind of the, the player, and it's so you're a lot less likely to find it again.
There's a good punish on the fire kick. Ooh, and there's a good punch. Good read from Kofu. Ooh, think about it. Every game he's this set, he's taken the first stock with a forward smash. Yeah. Okay, that was a really good read from Oa to take that first stop. Still at a deficit here. The oh wow, that was a really good punish from Kofu. Speaking of good punishes, just wasn't able to follow up on it. And that's gonna put almost through the stock, just not quite. That is probably gonna do it. Oh, never mind. Definitely building up the percent lead, and that is gonna be the stock. Oh, having now has taken the lead in this game. Yeah, it was a bit. Uh, yep, that's definitely a place where the. When I think about it, why didn't we go for up smash? <laughs> I was gonna mention that he probably missed the grip. It was gonna be about thrup, a comment about Thrupper. Yep, Kofu doing very well. Also, are you still planning to come up this summer, Abe? Uh, got a bit greedy there. Understandable. It was. If it worked, it would have ended the game, but since it missed, it gave Ola the opportunity to to end the game instead. Sometimes the mistakes can be by just a few pixels, and either way, oh, and now on tournament point. Very back and forth to start. Armor saving him from that first hit, but falling victim to the second. There's a good read, gonna put it. it gets clipped by the down B and it allows the reset to neutral. Good patience. Yeah, it was interesting to see him go for that up throw it for the up throw that would make a lot more sense with Thrupper, but with the up B he uses I'm not sure what Kofi was looking for. Okay, fair enough. And claps him for the first stop. Answering back with an up smash, and not much else to say there. It's interesting to see that Kofu seems to have a pretty good idea of when to just go all out and just going for the suffocating pressure of his very fast and safe normals. He's in a pretty good spot right now if he can just close it out before Oa can claw his way back into this game. Not gonna... F Ooh, interesting. He Oa thought he'd be able to get the grab punish, but nope, sent was sent too far. And that 
is going to be the first, the second stop. Kofu answers back with another up smash stock. It's all comes down. Well, this. It could all come down to this. If Oa takes the next stock, we are done for the night. Going for this roll to get out of dodge from the crown. <laughs> Interesting use of the up smash. I guess it was... Oh, well, it still put... Kofu off stage for stage control purposes, which, ouch, that's good. That was not a good trade for Kofu. Up, he's right into the cannonball. Oh, just barely getting out of that alive. Because if that blunderbuss had found its mark, that would have been the game, probably. Kofu playing very cautiously right now because he knows that if he makes one mistake, it is over. So, as I said, Oa was ready, and that is probably it. Well, and that is the tournament. To I don't think it would have hit. Maybe it would hit. Color me shocked. Oh, has won another week. Well, that's the, just the nature of being so good. Wonder how how much he's. Oh. Uh, you can't really make a living off of the the winnings of a local like this, but. Definitely a nice bonus income for whatever job he might have. Well, until next time, see ya.